The encyclical is indeed a timely response to one of the most urgent challenges faced by humanity today, a possible collapse of the very home that sustains us and all forms of life. A fossil-free world means that I get to stay in my own island, that the next generation gets to grow up in their islands, in their homes, without having to leave. Everyone knows that 75 years from now, the world's going to run on sun and wind. The question is, will it be a broken planet that runs on sun and wind? I believe that climate change is a, is a, is a battle that will be won or lost at the grassroots, not in plenary halls and therefore local leaders uh, play a big role in making that happen. He has said explicitly that, he, that citizen pressure will help drive more ambition. Us in the Pacific and me in Samoa with our team 350 Samoa will be getting pledges from our churches to say that they will be taking steps to go solar or steps to go renewable. Whether I am in San Francisco joining people in the streets or uh, anywhere else in the world, I will spread the word, I will spread the message of hope and courage. We hope that everybody is out in the streets on the 8th of September rising for climate. I'll be in California at the big march, but there's going to be marches like it all over the world and people figuring out other ways to rise up. On the 8th of September, we rise. We rise. We rise. Rise with us. Rise with us.